keep your spine straight, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in, hold it there. Oh. Oh. Om Shri Ganesha Yanamaha, Om Shri Saraswatya Namaha, Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha, Samasta Jana Kalyane, Niratam Karunamayam, Namami Chinmayam Devam, Sadgurum Ramha Vidvaram, Sadgurum Ramha Vidvaram, Yogena Chittasya Padena Vacham, Malam Shari Rasya Chavaitya Kena Yopa Karotam Pravaram Munina Patanjalim Pranjali Rana Tosmi Pranams to the Lord, pranams to all the Mahatmas in tonight's class. So we are on this beautiful journey. We have commenced last week. Many of you couldn't attend and uh, some of you have not understood. Uh, I got some message, it's tough and they want to quit then on. Within one, we don't judge. It's very easy language. It's not tough at all. And you will surprise yourself within this month when the classes progress. You will surprise yourself that how easily you are grasping it. So hold on the fort. Uh, who are attending first time today? Just raise hand. Raise hand means using the raise hand button, not physical raise hand. There's one person, any more? Only one person? Okay, fine. Nothing to worry, Ramaniyama. We will, it is going to be super easy for you. Nothing to worry. Now let us first discuss the homework and then go into the new session. And I will also be doing the revision. So uh, those who are attending first time, those who have not understood everything, everything is going to resolve in tonight's class only. Okay, so let us. Mama Upanetram Putrasti Atrevasti. Aham Upanet Vina Nadrashtam Shaknomi. Upanetram Upanetram. Anybody can guess which gender it could be? It's Correct. Where is my Upanetra? Putra. Okay, so let us start. So those who are attending first time will first observe uh, what is happening and then slowly you will understand at the as we end the homework session, the newcomers should ask the doubts, okay? So in that homework session itself would be the revision session, uh, which you will understand what is happening, okay? So in this, we had to ask the question. The first word given was shiraha. So where do we put, uh, what is the question we put for shiraha? So the question is Eshaha Kaha is the question. What is this? So then the, what is this? Eshaha this Kaha what? Answer is Eshaha Shiraha Eshaha Shiraha And this Eshaha is over here Eshaha and over there, if it is there, then what is that? Saha kaha. Saha kaha. Saha kaha. Saha kaha. Shiraha. 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 Saha. Shiraha. Eshaha kaha. Saha kaha. This, that. What is this? What is that? Eshaha kaha. Keshaha Shiraha. Okay. Keshaha. 
So now, uh, those who are newcomers, watch. How was the ending? Likewise, that ending question. Now, how is the ending? Likewise, that question. E tat kim means what is this? Tat kim means what is that? So, e tat lalatam, that is forehead. Head, hair, forehead. Oh, lalatam, I've written lalatam, sorry. Okay, so e tat kim, tat kim. Okay, bruhu. Eyebrows. So Netram. So Netram will come in this column. Correct. So Netram is in this column. Tat e tat kim tat kim. What is that? What is that? So Netram. Netram is for the eyes. Okay. Now next word. Nasika. Esha ka. Esha nasika. Perfect. So now we get the newcomers. Sa Nasika. Excellent kids. So Nasika. So now we get another new ending. So for that, huh? who's having radio and all at the background? Can we disturb so much? We should be mindful. We can't be nuisance in the class. We are multitasking, which itself is a bad. You're not in the class. In the class, you sit for a present attention and then disturb everybody else also. And you don't study also. Don't multitask. Don't eat. Don't watch television. Don't do anything. That's why I need all the cameras on. You sitting at the desk with your notebook. This is what the scene should be. Not walking around, doing something else. That won't work. Hmm? Okay, so now what happens over here? Ka. So now, a ending. Esha ka, sa ka. What is this? What is that? Okay, so nasika, that is the nose. Next word was oshtaha. Esha ka, esha oshtaha. Oshtaha means lips. Saha ka, saha oshtaha. Oshtaha, lips. Lips. So, so it is going to come in this column, first column. Eshaha kaha, saha kaha column, it is going to come. Then the next one was dantaha. Dantaha comes in which column? First, second, or third? Eshaha kaha, eshaha dantaha. Fantastic. Saha kaha, saha kaha, saha dantaha. Perfect. Jivha, tongue. Esha ka, esha jivha. Second, second, column, which second, column? second, second, second column. Second column, we put jihva, jihva tongue. Eshaka, saka. Okay, good. Chibukam. Third column. Correct. Eat kim. Eat chibukam. Okay, perfect, kids. Y'all are awesome. Adults catch up with the kids. E tat kim, tat kim. So what is that? So chibukam is the uh, thing given. So chibukam is napunsakalinga. So we should question e tat kim. Answer is e tat chibukam. Tat kim, tat chibukam. Okay. Kapolaha. For second, third column. First. Yeshaha kaha. Yeshaha kapolaha. Saha kapolaha. 
Awesome. So Kapolaha comes in the first column because it's Kapolaha. Hmm? Okay. Now, Karanaha. Karanaha comes in first column. First column. Eshaha Karanaha. What is this? Yes, my dear. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then, Kantaha. First column. Correct. Skandaha. First column. Very good. Bhujaha. Which column? First column. First column. Bhujaha. Eshaha kaha, Eshaha bhujaha. Kaha kaha, Saha bhujaha. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. So this was the homework that you had to make the questions. And then, just to increase your vocabulary, there were three pages given. Each page has one, one linga. Okay. So now, the newcomers who had not attended, what we are understanding from here is, this is a pullinga. This is a strilinga. And this is a napunsaka linga. So from the words, we are... You can keep yourself muted now. Hmm? So when we finished answering, we should mute us. So we, re we should re be sensitive that, okay, the class is getting noisy, mute yourself. That's all. So now, those who have come new, what in Sanskrit we have is only two kinds of category of words, padam. So we, when we want to speak, we have to use words, right? The word is a padam. Padam dvividham, two categories. Nama padam, Kriyapadam. Kriyapadam means all actions, verbs. What is not a Kriyapadam, everything is put in Namapadam. Okay. So this Namapadam, we are trying to build. We are trying to get words. So when we try to build our vocabulary, we figure out that all the words that we are going to learn will be fitting into either this three column. Pulinga, Napunsanka, or Sri Linga. We will, on seeing the word, we will not know just a new word if we will. It is to be trained to our mind that this is a Napunsakalinga. So we have to train. Like some language, Indian languages will have gender for even the things. So like that, it is not, you learn the language actually by hearing. The child doesn't know uh, how, uh, what to say. But you give the words and from what you have shown, then it begins to imitate those words. So now for our level, because we are not speaking, we are going to get like this first. And we'll build our vocabulary so that we know what is, be, what is being, uh, you know, what is, what is getting projected, what we have to see through it. So now uh, one of the new volunteers, Ramaniji, I'll give you one word. You tell me. Where you would keep it? Vatayanam. That is meaning window. Vatayanam. Uh, Nabum Sagaling. Third, third line. Fantastic. Fantastic. Then I'll give you one more word. Mapika. 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 Scale. No? Mapika, which column I should do? Ma Mapika also Nabun Sagaling. Nabun Sagaling. Third Ma line. Mapika. 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 Nabun Sagaling. Nabun Sagaling. Lelatam, Netram, Chibukam, Vatayanam. Mapika. Mapika. Trilling. Second. Reeling. Nasika, Jivha, Mapika. Mapika. Got it? Okay. So, and Got also it. now for the newcomers, there is also something called uh, Dirgha. 
like Devi, Saraswati, Nadi. So that also will be in this column. So we in Sri Linga, we will have Dirgha, Ikaranta also. Nadi, Devi. So this is also in the Sri Linga column. Okay. I'll give one more word because I'm not convinced. Suryaha. Suryaha Pulling. Ah, no. correct. Okay, fine. Anybody is new? Anybody who is attending first class today? I'm attending for the first time. This is uh, Shilpa Agarwal. Okay. okay. Now, Shilpa, I'll give you one word. You tell me first, second, or third column you will put. Mm. Kamalam. Lotus. Third column. Perfect. So, which linga it is? Uh, it should be Napun linga. Napun linga. Now, if I have to say, what is this? Showing the Kamal in my hand. How you will question? Etataha Kimma. Etat Kim. Kimma. Kimma no. Kim. Halanda. Kim. Okay. Etat Kim. Kim. And okay. if I put the as if I'm pointing out to the lotus over there, which is far away from me, how you will question? Tata Lim. Kim. Tat Kim. 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 Tat. Tat. Tat Kim. Etat Kim. Tat and Etat. Okay. I am also okay. attending first time. Yeah. I, uh, who is this now? One minute. Yeah. Rajesh Bajpayee. Right. Okay. Just give me a minute. I will just uh, do it with Shilpa first. Okay. Shilpa, now one more word I will give you. Yeah. Makshika. Makshika is a fly. Makshika. Fly. Okay. Second one. Sreeling. Sreeling. So this is a fly. How you say in Sanskrit? Uh, this uh, is this a fly. Asia. Asia. Esha Makshika. Esha Makshika. This is a fly. That is a fly. How do you say? Sa Makshika. Makshika. Sa Makshika. Good. Again, Shilpa, continue. One more word I will give you. Paryankaha. Aha. So it should be the first one. Correct. Pullinga. So Paryankaha means the bed. Paryankaha. Is the bed. bed. So now, what is this? How do you question? Showing the bed? Eshaha Paryanka. That is answer. How do you question? Eshaha Kaha. Eshaha Kaha. Eshaha Kaha. What is that? How do you how do you question? What is that? Showing Sa, the Paryanka? Sa. Kaha. Sa, Sa Kaha. kaha. Esh, no, we have to be very uh, uh, specific of Visarga. If you say just sa, then it will go to sa. So, saha kaha, saha paryankaha, eshaha kaha, eshaha paryankaha, esha ka, eshaha, esha, saha, sa. So, we, we have to be very, very clear in our, <laughs> this part. Yeah. Because that is going to, uh, I mean, somebody when listens, they should know what you are trying to convey. We cannot mix that. Okay. Now we have Rajesh ji, who is also new. Okay. Rajesh ji, now you will tell me this. Karavastram, which is a handkerchief. Napunsaka. Napun awesome. Correct. So Karavastram will come in Napunsaka link which means handkerchief. This is ha a handkerchief. How do you say in Sanskrit? This is a handkerchief. Karavastram. Karavastram. No, but this, this is a karavastram. Oh, etat, uh, uh, etat. Etat karavastram. karavastram. Etat karavastram. This is, that is a handkerchief. Tat karavastram. Perfect. Panjaram, which is a Cage, panjaram or pinjaram? Huh. What you will say? Uh, uh, that is also the punsa one. Correct. Uh, so, tat panjaram. E Correct. Panjaram. Correct. What is the uh -huh. meaning of panjaram? Uh, cage. Cage. Ah, okay. Cage. Cage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we will go for the next word. Veena. Uh, this will be uh, uh, Sri Ling. 
three link. Now you are pointing out the vena which is near you and asking the question, what is this? How will you ask? Esha uh, ka. Esha ka. Very good, Rajesh ji. Now let's go for next word. Kapotaha, which is a pigeon. Kapotaha. Pulling. Pulling. How would you say this is a pigeon? Esha uh, kapoja. Kapotaha. Kapota. Esha kapota. And that is a pigeon. How will you say? Uh, sa kapota. Awesome. Awesome. Anyone new joining first time today in the class? Vasha ji, I am joining. This is Rakhi Giri ji. Okay. Others can mute. Rakhi ji, now you will tell me. Where will you place this word? Rajakaha, which is a dhobi, a washerman. Rajakaha. Pulling. Pulling. So that is a dhobi. How do you say? Saha dhobi. Ah, ah, dhobi. No. Saha rajakaha. Saha rajakaha. Sorry. Saha rajakaha. Sahara Jakaha Uttabam. And this is a washerman. Rakiji. Eshaha Rajakaha. Eshaha Rajakaha. Uttamam. Uttamam. Mandukaha. Manduka means a frog. Now a mandukaha. That is a frog. Now you have to put a question to us. What is that? Esha ha kaha? That, that. Esha ha kaha? No. What is that? That? Saha kaha. Ah, saha kaha. So that is Manduka will be in the first column. Manduka ha, frog, saha kaha. Saha kaha, saha manduka ha. Saha manduka ha. Okay. Now, uh, Rakhiji, I think there is a disturbance at your end, but still we will do one or two words with you. Tula. Tula means a balance. Streeling. Streeling. So, what is this? How do you question? Esha ka. Correct. An answer? Esha tula. Excellent. Excellent. One more word we do. Vimanam. Napunsaka. Sorry? Napunsaka. Perfect. So, Napunsaka. Now, question and answer both. Etat kim? Etat vimanam. Correct. For that? Tat kim? Hmm. Tat vimanam. Perfect. Fine. Now you can mute yourself. There is a background noise. Okay. Dhruv and Rishabh, this uh, it's your first time. You can unmute. Dhruv? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's your first time, my dear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. How old are you, Dhruv? I'm Rishabh. I'm brother Keeping. Okay. So you are Rishabh. Where is Dhruv then? He's. Um, He's missing from the class, but his attendance is there in the class. Okay. So now let me question you. Uh, sutram means a thread. Sutram. Where, which column you will put? One, two, three. Sutram. Third. Third column. So third column is which gender? Correct. Now how do you put a question for that? That this is a thread. You want to put a question. What is this? How do you say? Etam kim. Etat kim. And how do you answer? It. 
Tat Kim. Now, how do you answer? When you say Etat Kim, how do you answer? This is your answer. Sutram, you are learning. So, how do you answer? Etat Kim, Etat Sutram. Do you, is, do you know, know to read Devanagri? I know Hindi, but I don't know Sanskrit. You know Hindi. No, 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 it doesn't matter. Hindi, you know, right? So these, these words you are able to read, correct? Huh. So the answer is over here. Don't look in your notebook. So, Sutram. Now, what is that? Put a question to this. That came. So Very good. So answer will be that Kim. What is that? That is. So how you start? That Sutram. That, that sutra, sutra. Correct. Correct, my dear child. Fine. So a little more practice and you will get. You have any questions? No. Okay. Fine. You can mute yourself. Anyone? Hey, uh, this is Pankaj. Any I'm also new. It's your first day today? Yeah, that's correct. Yes. Okay, fine. So for you, the word is Nari Kailam. It should be in the person, the person playing. So now you put the questions to it. Etat Kim. Hmm? Answer? Etat Nari. Sorry, what was the word? Nari Kailam. Etat Nari Kailam. That is coconut, nari kail, nari al, uh, 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 nari okay. kailam. And okay. And tat, uh, that? Tat, tat kim, tat yes. nari kailam. Excellent. Now we go for the next word is pathashala. It should be streeling. Correct. Pathashala streeling. Put the questions on it. So, esha ka. Correct. Answer? Esha pathashala. Very good. Sa ka. Correct. Very good. Now one more we will do for you. Nakulaha. So that would be pulling. Correct. Esha kaha. Correct. Esha nakulaha. Correct. Saha kaha. Correct. Saha nakulaha. Perfect. Excellent. Anyone else is new? First time today in the class? All done? Uh, Rajesh Bajpai, your hand is raised to ask question. Okay, so I, now I as I yeah, have yes. a question. Uh, yes, I mean, if I say kapola, then becomes pulling. If I say kapolam, mm -hmm. it becomes napunsak. <laughs> so not like so, that. Vimanam, vimana. So yes. how, when do you decide? How do you decide? Vimanaha word is not there. Vimanaha yes. word is there. These are the original level, original words. Okay. Or from that, we are going to go step in uh, because the meaning will change if you will change the original word. What would be the meaning? That is our journey of six months. Oh, okay. Original word, original word. Vimanaha is not the original word. No, but how do, original. I, know? How do I know? Now, now you are knowing. Now you are building your vocabulary. This oh, is okay. your first time. Automatically, you will not know. This whole exercise we are going this slow for two classes is building your vocabulary mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the original word, how it is. From mm -hmm. that we decide. The root word. Mm -hmm. Okay. The root word. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Okay. Any more questions? So if the newcomers have answered today, I assume those who have attended the first class are by now champions. Anyone who has not understood this, who is not clear at all, who feels this is difficult, please ask now. I just have one question. Yes. Pa, pa, what is khatwa then? Ka, 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 also, also, also same. Bed so only. there will be bed only. Bed only. So okay. there are different, different words. So if you are using pariyankaha, it will go as per pullinga. It's also for the bed. If you're using khatwa, it is also going for the bed, but it is a Sri Linga word. Since you touch this, I will uh, 
give very beautiful example to clear one thing. Uh, one minute. What book I have over here? Let me see. Okay. Etat kim? Etat pustakam. Okay. Etat pustakam. Etat pustakam. Eshaha kaha. Eshaha granthaha. Pustakam granthaha. Granthaha. I'll come. We are doing slowly. Eshaha granthaha. Etat pustakam. Etat kim. Ah, sorry. Esha ta. Esha. Esha. Kadambari novel. Esha Kadambari. Esha Kadambari. Esha Grantaha. Etat Pustakam. Let me see if I have anything else to uh, point out. Etat Kim. Esha Ka. Esha Pustika. Booklet. Esha Pustika. Pustakam, Pustika, Granthaha, Kadambari. All lingas are different. Meanings are different. When it is a scripture, we don't call the scriptures merely books. They are Granthas. They are original works. Any book is a Pustakam. So Kadambari is also a Pustakam only. But then you become, you segregate. So when it is a novel, you say Tadambari, then it is getting a three linga form. When it is a booklet, it is Pustika. When it is uh, just a pamphlet, like few pages we get, it is Patrika. Hmm? So otherwise Patram, a letter, a newspaper, everything is a Patram. So same thing will be having different genders when you change or, or the word or uh, you use the synonym, it need not be always the same gender. So, khatva and paryankaha, they are synonyms, but the gender is different. Okay. Lata ji, you have any question? Uh, yeah, I just have a question, Varsha ji. Uh, bruhu, uh, it is pronounced as bruhu, the visargal changed to who? Yeah, bruhu. Bru, bru who? Bru who? Bru who? Bru who? Okay. Bru who? Okay. That's why I just want to check. Okay. Bru who? Okay. Bru who? Sharda ji. What about magazine? What we call magazine? Patrika. Patrika. Okay. Patrika. Okay. Jotsna. Yes. Varsha ji, I just wanted to know how do we pronounce? When we say Eshaha Kaha, I, I thought it was just aspirating it. So do we pronounce the whole thing? Eshaha Kaha. Correct. Eshaha Kaha. It is not Eshah Kaha. It's not that. No, not okay. that. Eshaha Kaha. Okay. So we'll learn as we go along. Why do we say Kaha? And then why when is, do we just aspirate? Okay. So that will go in the chanting rules. Okay. So chanting rules will not be in the uh, speaking oh. rules. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> then uh, one more person is having it out. Nirupama, what is your question? Uh, yeah, Varshaji, uh, I just wanted to confirm that in Paryankaha uh, and the Khatwa, like uh, the Khatwa picture, I was just seeing that wo, uh, it's like more like a uh, just a manja hota hai na? and that one like a bed. Both, um, no, both, both same. <laughs> same, both, same. both same. Both same. Both same. Cot mm -hmm. only. Cot and bed. Oh. Okay. So I think all questions are clear. All are clear. We are all on the same page now. Hmm? Uh, no no Varsha doubts. Ji. Varsha Ji, one minute. Is there? Huh? Huh? Varsha Ji, one minute. Uh, I'm still a bit confused I, uh, with the, the three lingas. How do you differentiate the lingas again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Shiraha. Shiraha. Shira. Yeah, okay. 
Nasika. Ah, Nasika. Oh, awesome. Okay. Lala, tum. Hmm. Tum. Aha. Ah. Um. Aha. Gaha. Ka. Him. Okay. Clear? Okay. Yep. yep. Got it now. That's why that homework which I gave, you have to read. And I gave those pictures and I said, mentally say it, mentally mm. say it. So one was given as a writing, but other was to visualize and mentally question it. Eshaha kaha. Okay, eshaha paryanka. Esha ka. Esha. And you play with the words. So saha kaha. Saha paryankaha. Sa ka. Sa khatva. You play with the words and that was, that's why given. And I said, mentally work with those. Those who are new, I'll post the pictures again so that you can mentally play with it. Okay, so now I think we can go ahead with the class now. All doubts cleared? Yes, ma'am. Who is? Okay. If your mic's muted. When you finish talking, you should mute yourself, please. When I mute, uh, you are again un... Why are you unmuting again, Raki? Mute. Please mute yourself. Sharda, what's your question? Teacher, what is song in Sanskrit? Geetam. Oh, okay, na. Which is it? Napunsaka linga, pullinga, or Sri linga? Hmm? Ah, very good, very good. So you are attentive. Now let us go ahead with today's class. Okay. We are going to go one step higher. Huh? I want all the attention over here. Please be alert. We are very clear now. What is kaha? What is ka? What is kim? But this what we did was for ek vachan. Ek vachan means singular. 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 And the beauty of Sanskrit is Sanskrit has Dvivachan also. Raki, please stay muted because you have a very big background noise. It is really disturbing the class. You will hear the recording, then you will know that what is the disturbance coming. Please mute yourself. Okay. Fine. So now let's go ahead with the class. So the beauty of Sanskrit is it has got dvivachan. So when I say eshaha and when I say two and if there is more than two, there is different words that we are going to use. It won't be always eshaha. Okay. So this we will have to keep in mind and learn it correctly. Same thing. Saha will not be. So this is a shaha. Huh? But uh, I'm giving a wrong example because this is not a shaha. This is what? Eta. 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 Okay, so because now this is our example, we are going with this. So this is our Esha Lekhani. Okay, that means this is a pen. For the newcomers, Lekhani is a pen and Ankani is a pencil. Keep this in mind, huh? Newcomers, Esha. Now, when it is two, When it is two, we will say ete. So we have ek vachan, we have dvi vachan, and we have bahu vachan. Ek vachan, dvi vachan, bahu vachan. Esha word, we will come back again. Now we are doing with Esha. So the word is Esha. 
for dvivachan we will say ete and for bahuvachan we will say etaha okay esha ete etaha what happens with pullinga esha now this becomes etau etau be careful the pullinga bahuvachan is same like strilinga's dvivachan ete esha etau ete okay esha ete etaha and what happens with the napunsaka linga is etat ete etani now glass we learned the word for the glass last time right mm, chakshakaha okay chakshakaha and we learned the word what we can say mala we learned the word mala so chakshakaha is which linga pulling pulling and mala is which linga three linga three linga so when ete word is going to get used with what it is getting used from that you will know whether the linga is pulling or stri linga because dvivachana ending of that word will be different than the plural so at the moment don't get confused at the moment just take it as it is that ete will be for both the places also for napunsak also but this plural thing you will have to keep in mind hmm? now we will go one step higher one step higher is what we will take example of devaha word dev deva is god god okay devaha so which linga it is pulling 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 so ek vachan is devaha esha devaha okay etau any guess devavau correct etau devavau but not not deve okay pullinga will uh, plural will be devaha esha devaha etau devavau ete devaha okay this is one part now we go next <coughs> we will take the word mala somebody has unmuted keep uh, once you answer mute back immediately so no confusion esha we are taking example of mala esha mala ete what will happen ete male ete male two malas if there are two garlands and this will be same etaha malaha 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 so we have to say full malaha so now what will happen devaha malaha so sometimes with the plural we might get confused that this word will be strilling or a pulling so hmm. even those who have uh, learned sanskrit well also for them also that it will be uh difficult to guess if we don't know the original word so the root word if you are not familiar something foreign a new vocabulary has come then 
we have to refer dictionary to find it out just by seeing the plural word if it is a new because mala who has this uh, unmuting and making noise this is the most uh, irritating aspect of the class so we will have to definitely be mindful because there's a lot of time invested it's a new language we need concentration so i want everybody to be alert that and be sensitive how you have placed your mic okay so we save the whole class time we don't get irritated also and <laughs> don't put off somebody also and plus my flow of thought will also go something which i have to tell probably will not come out something else will come out so we have to just be sensitive to that i don't have to tell so many and we have to get used to that discipline come on time do the homework sit like this only camera on keep the attention because we are taking a new step so this needs that discipline and mindfulness and awareness okay now let's go ahead so okay so the thought flow was we will not know that uh, seeing the word just like that because we have learned mala word if mala ha comes we can confidently say the ek vachan form of it is mala because mala is a three linga but let's say chashak uh, i will say chamasaha so now you have not learned the word chamasaha so if i will suddenly ask you what linga it would be which is your new word chamasaha it is difficult without knowing that this would be chamasaha or chamasa it will be difficult so you must know so we have to build the vocabulary only by learning so chamasaha is a um, pullinga it means spoon chamasaha is a singular so i just took a random example of the word which you have not learned from this to come to this is not possible so whenever you get a new word you have to start noting it either in your diary or in your mind and words are infinite objects are infinite there will be so many new new things also whether i will never learn complete sanskrit nobody learns anything completely any time a physicist does he know everything a doctor does he know everything a vedantin does he know everything it's a seeking journey okay so we are we are in making only the highest would know everything the all knower is only one all of us are small 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 things we know so uh, okay let us go and complete ahead now we'll take for this uh, example we'll take phalam phalam is a fruit so etat phalam phalam what will be dvivachan if two fruits are there ete e phale ete phale phale et bhale and what would be the plural ete ete palani 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 so today we have what we have we have now gone one notch higher that in sanskrit there is not only singular plural there is also something called as dvivachan and the best shlok that i comes to my mind is om sahana bhavatu sahanau bhunaktu yeah. it is all dvivachan au oh, au oh. it is coming because in our sanskriti it is always guru and shishya so this dvivachan is it denotes our sanskriti it goes with the two between the teacher and the taught okay so this beauty okay i'm just going to mute somebody again okay so now what is the homework i know we uh, we had to finish it 5 minutes ago but we have to have a practice we already have few words of last week so from those words you are going to make this eshaha etau ete एषा एते एताहा एतत एते एतानि सो नाउ फॉर व्हाट एग्जांपल लेट्स से नेत्रम सो हाउ वुड यू मेक 
एतत् नेत्रम् एते नेत्रे एतानि नेत्राणि ओके नाउ ओनली वन थिंग वन रूल विद दिस इज व्हेनेवर अ र कम्स और अ श कम्स देन दिस मी बाय सम ग्रामर रूल व्हिच विल बिकम अणि so netra because there is a tra in that ra is there this will become netrani so like that the four word the pushpam so in pushpa the sh is there so this will become pushpani but let's say uh, phala phala we already did uh, patra or parna all are having uh, uh, r so there it will be uh, n only so on the places huh. where there is chibukam is uh, ah so chibukani there is no r or sh so it will maintain the n so when a r or sh comes it's going to become n so this rule you uh, meant uh, remember okay now any questions so far anti what is dvivachan dvi vachan means when there are two things dvi two so in english we have everything plural one pen two pens many pens in sanskrit we don't have like that we have esha lekhani ete because lekhani word i have not taught oh i have to e. teach that because ete lekhanyau i will teach that word because that should be crucial good you remind and etaha lekhanya so uh, we have one more word to learn over here that's a part because we have taken uh, ekarant also so please note this also for ekaranta we will take nadi shabda nadi so esha nadi ete this nadi will become nadya uh, uh, nadye uh, nadi nadyau nadi nadyau nadya so this is different and eta nadi nadyau nadya nadya so why this is uh, important this e this e is going to get a y attached nadi nadyau nadya so lekhani lekhanyau lekhanya devi devyau devya okay so this is little different you will have to remember devi devyau devya lekhani can you tell me for ankani what will happen le ankani ankani lekhani ankani okay the class is very smart aha so i'm going to have a challenge to teach smart kids i'll have to better prepare myself nicely and come all are learning very fast how come wow this is awesome excellent so with the ikaranta there is a little change okay Ma now what happens to kamalam kamalam ha so kamalam etat kamalam ete kamale etani kamalani clear are we clear anybody is having doubt anybody didn't understand this concept Vasha, Devi, you can repeat, please. Yeah, oh, it's written over here. Devi, Devya, Devya. Yeah. Lekhani, Lekhanya. So Yakara is going to come. Lekhanya. Nadi, Nadya, Nadya. Saraswati, Saraswatya, Saraswatya. Okay. there is only one ankani ankanyau ankanyaha 
that how to make the plural then next week we will go ahead with the verb aspect we will learn little bit of verb so we will be building nama padam on one side we will be building kriya padam on one side so like this slowly we should go nama padam kriya padam nama padam kriya padam and then build our six months course around this nama padam and kriya padam only <laughs> so isn't it beautiful so when we we are going to say i study we both study we all study so study is remaining the same but in sanskrit that is that verb will going to change with ek vachan so we will we will be having gender and we will be having the number okay so vachan and linga this is a speciality of sanskrit So of which now we are just introduced to nama pada we were introduced to the linga and now today we are introduced to vachan so ek vachan dvi vachan bahu vachan so those who have learned uh, say like say german german has a similar rules uh, that uh, ek vachan dvi vachan uh, with the verbs and all so ek, uh, that grid will be the german grid and the sanskrit grid will be almost similar so we have that in other languages in the world as well okay so on this note i'm ending today's session before i end is everybody crystal clear any one doubt lurking somewhere any one worm sitting in us now no ma'am all clear i'm so happy uh, fantastic i have a question ah uh, yes uh, yeah. uh, this uh, can you once again um explain in about this kriya padam and nama padam i'm a bit confused on that uh, on the german side yes i understand because i know german is uh, du z uh, that is uh, tu tum aap so no no so the... that is uh, no no so that is not a kriya pad but hmm. uh, uh, like in german you have ish heis du hmm. du heis Uh-huh. Ish, 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 do, uh-huh. and erzi, even. So what? Uh, uh, so now verb part you don't touch. 
आप इज अ डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट लाइक तुम और तव और भवान और या इट इज लाइक युष्मत शब्द एंड भवत शब्द आर डिफरेंट ओवर हियर सो इट इज नॉट विथ तुम एंड आप इट इज विद सिंग्यूलर डुवेल एंड plural this aspect only i have said the aap and tum as we progress we will see like for example if i have okay. to ask But... i will ask you bhavatah namakim so this bhavatah namakim is going to be aapka naam so this so this part we have not touched or if i have to ask for shreyas i can ask him tava namakim for what for shreyas mother i will mm-hmm. ask bhavatyah namakim so for aap also it's going to change So this part we have not yet touched. What we have touched okay. is there are only two two kinds of words. One is the kriya pad, one is the nama pad. Kriya pad means all the verbs, all the action words. What is not fitting as verbs, everything is put into nama pad. This is all we have studied. Then in that nama pad we have seen there is a gender. Then in that gender we have seen. that there are many kinds we have not touched words like hari or guru ukaranta ikaranta we are just doing three kinds akaranta akaranta strilinga ikaranta and again akaranta napunsaka we have done only this much and today we have just gone on the second aspect that there is vachan there is number and that is not just singular plural it is dual only this much we have learned so you focus only on this much do you have any doubts on this part that we have covered no no clear thank you. thank you. Okay. awesome anyone has any more doubt lurking in their mind uh, varsha ji Much for the sorry uh, varsha ji for the uh, both the the ling and the the numbers the vachan are they both only for nama padam or for kriya padam as well Hmm. Kriya padam will not go as per the linga, but Kriya padam will go as per the vachan. Like in Hindi, uh, we have wo aya or ya wo ai. From that, you will know that whether the girl has come or a boy has come. But uh, in uh, Sanskrit, it won't be like that. So it can be uh, uh, saha uh, agachati sa agachati. So. <laughs> linga bhed is not there on the verb but vachan bhed is there they both kam is different they all come in. so vachan is there linga is not there in the okay. verb okay. any more questions josna ji you yes, have something uh, could not vachan ji for um, yeah. so um, i didn't understand this part too well when we say ek vachan and dvi vachan for pulling is a shaha and a tau and for strilling it's a sha and a te so when we say nadi it becomes nadi and nadyo and but it, it will still but it will still remain a te only so it is not going as per that so a sha word is a different word it is coming from the original word is tat shabda so uh, etad shabda is esha tad shabda is saha so the shabda is the original root word is tad and etad and it need not follow that nadyo should be etau no ete nadyo so it is not according to that i was just trying to make you all observe the ending that's all about it but it is not linked with that okay so this is a specific rule that means we will learn as we go along like something correct. which we have to memorize and it's not the yes. general thing okay yes correct oh, the you. the general thing is saha ha ah, that part i didn't say no saha tau te uh, we have we are doing okay let uh, let me do it in the next week it will be too much we have done only with esha word so esha ha etau ete this is all we have done ha uh, esha ete etaha then right? etat ete etani this much only we have learned today sahaj a word also i should have given but it will be too much we'll do it in the next class and then go for the verb aspect so this is not going to change the word in front of it will change ukaranta will come ikaranta will come something else will come 
but this is going to remain same this won't change as per the word that is going to so is this clear josna ji okay awesome Thank sweetie you. tell me what you didn't understand Auntie, darling i could not understand the nama padam and kriya padam nama padam is okay kriya padam means all the verbs all action walking sitting talking eating dancing these are actions correct yeah so these actions are called as kriya so it is kriya padam the words that describe the kriya clear yeah auntie what is not describing the kriya everything is put into nama padam are okay. we clear Yeah. what is not what is not a kriya pad is all put into nama pad now i could understand aunty yes dhruv and rishab you want to say something dearies ma'am so noun is also in nama padam right also but along with noun there will be all other things also that will also be into nama padam so ma'am anything which is not related to verbs will be all in nama padam all yes that's correct my dear child yes ma'am Okay, Risha. No, Dhruv. You are Dhruv. The younger one is Risha. Okay. Fine. Any more questions? All done. Lata ji, you have a question. Yeah, I just have a quick question, Varsha ji. Uh, you yes. mentioned uh, if there is r or sh in a word, then like uh, you gave an example, netram becomes netrani. I just have uh, a doubt if r and sh can be anywhere in the word, or it has to be ending or. Beginning. So that's what Asha Hegde had asked. So. so there is some rule so now okay. you just hold on hold to netrani and pushpani okay. example only. okay okay yeah thank you okay any more question question that do we need to take some book or something do we need to buy a book or no nothing nothing no okay. that there is lot of things uh, available in books form in in the on internet and all everything will be confusing if you will um, go without a teacher once right. you get the base then you explore then i will tell you lots of courses lots of okay. things are there on the internet lots of books are there first don't go with the books first <laughs> just get the concept very clear if the base is clear then you are ready to fly on your own you can do on your own this is what this course is intending that no hand holding you should be independent thank you thank you so much most welcome okay avi having still doubts so assuming all the homework has to be perfect so uh, one no one doubt varsha ji ah. uh, <laughs> this naam padam has gender that is ling and vachan okay hmm. but uh, uh, kriya uh, padam also has the same thing or or there no, is no we discussed way. that no just now just now we discussed that that kriya pad is having only the vachan we just now said I gave the example. Yeah, May I have? Wo I have? Wo. Hmm. We said that. Okay. We did say. We did say that. Okay. So we are have uh, more than twenty-five minutes extra in the class. Let's end today's session. And the homework is to do this Asia part of the words that you already have. Keep your spine straight. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take a deep breath in. Hold it there. Oh. 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 पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यत पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओं श्रीकृष्णापणमस्तु Hari Om, everyone. See Hariyo. you on next week. Hari Om. Hari Om. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Good night. Adios, Good night. Good night. Can you take a picture of the screen? Hari Om, Varsha Ji. Hari Om. I'll send the picture. Don't worry. Hari Om. Okay. Thank you. Please, Ms. Mutatia. Thank you.